All right, so I've been asked a lot recently how you can install like brighter police lights and get all your lights in GTA 5 or 5M or 5PD brighter than what they actually normally are. And this is how we're going to do this. We're going to use a thing called Radiance V and we're going to put this inside of your client side 5M folder to allow you to have these brighter lights. Um, so all you have to do is press the download file on this web page, press the download version 1.8. Once it downloads, you'll get a folder like this and it will open up inside of WinRAR or any of the unpacking software you use. Go into this folder, go into visual settings and you have two options. You have bright or very bright depending on what you want to use. I personally use bright. I find bright very bright enough for what I want to do. Very bright makes everything really blinding at night and I don't really like that. So I just go with the normal bright. And what you're actually going to need from here is the visual settings.dat file inside of here. And in order to get to where we need to put this, you're not going to be using open four or anything. You're going to go over to your 5M shortcut or wherever your 5M exe jar is and press open file location. And you'll open a file like this. You'll have 5M, 5M single player, 5M application data. Go ahead and click application data and you'll open into a folder with all of your 5M folder and uh, files in it. You'll go to citizen, common, data. And now in this file, all you have to do is drag in the visual settings.dat. You may have one in here already if you've had a previous install of either like a visual mod or something, but normally you won't have this in here at all. All you have to do, drag it in, press replace, or just drag it in itself, close it out, and go ahead and start your 5M server or 5M client. Uh, you don't need a server for this. This will work on global 5M servers. So you, by replacing this, you'll make your lights brighter on every single server rather than just your own. So none of this is server side. This is all done client side to modify the lights and brightness of it. So um, don't know why my 5M didn't start there. I'll go ahead and start it. Oh, it just started up. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> um, so just starting up, we're going to load into a random localhost server, which I'm going to start up right now and uh, we can test and make sure all of our lights have worked how we want it to. So I'm gonna load in and I'll be right back. All right, so while I'm loading in, I just wanna make this clear. This does work with 5PD. It does work with any add-on because this is client side, not server side. So uh, anybody, if you want your friends to have brighter lights, they're gonna have to do this as well. They're gonna have to install Radiance V on 5M to make your lights brighter. So that's all this really does. It just makes every all the lights in the game a little brighter, easier to see, especially police and fire lights and stuff. It makes those brighter and you're able to actually see them from a distance away, which is pretty cool indeed. So we're just loading in here, um, loading up 5PD, loading up 5M in our local host server. Of course, this does work on any server like I did say earlier. Uh, not doesn't have to be your lone local host server and everything. And um, if you want to learn how to set up 5PD or any of other 5M tutorials, you can find a card in the top right hand corner with a list to all of our 5M tutorial playlists. And you can view all the videos, including how to set up like uh, Luxart, which is like a style of ELS lighting on your 5M server, and also set up other features of 5M, which is pretty cool. All right, so we have loaded in or we are loading in to our server here. You can see it's initializing section down in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. I'm going to switch over to my 5PD cam, which is opening up the full game in full screen, so you can see it a little bit easier on what it actually looks like in game. Um, I may be in a loop here on the bottom right hand corner, so I may have to restart 5M because sometimes it does this. Um, yes, I may actually have to redo, restart, so I'll be right back. I'm going to restart and get back in the game. All right, so after restarting 5M to fix that weird login glitch thing, I have gone ahead and spawned in a police car. Now, if I turn on the lights, you can see, you can visibly see they're actually brighter than they would be in default GTA without the visual settings.bat file. So this did just make my lights in the game very much brighter than what you normally get without the visual dot settings. And of course, if I set the time to like, let's say uh, nighttime, um, oh, I don't have a time set on here. Maybe I can set it locally. Let's see if this works. Um, all right, I may have to wait, actually physically wait until it becomes nighttime because I forgot that I don't have the, uh, time on this. Nope. There we go. All right. So I was able to set it to night and you can see that the lights are visibly brighter than they would be in default GTA. Um, so this is how you install this. Hopefully it did help and, um, you did understand everything. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to help. I got a few tutorials coming out very soon, like how to customize custom siren sounds and everything. Like you can hear my sirens are different. Um, you can't actually hear that. Let me fix that. Um, so now you can hear it. Uh, you can hear my siren tones are different than everything. So those will be coming soon. Um, 
And then also on how to get like custom uh, gun sounds and stuff as well. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn that in so you can hear what that sounds like. So you can, s you can hear that the sounds are different. Um, so I will do a tutorial on how to get all those sounds in the future. And of course that would be, cl those sounds and stuff are modified client side. So it's a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial rather than a um, easy drag and drop tutorial. So that will be coming soon, but a lot of cool tutorials and stuff also coming. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.